Hello, Bernie Bosworth. Thanks for the great introduction and uh, thank you for, for organizing this conference uh, so well for the second time uh, in, in vir virtually. Thanks for bringing the community together again. And I hope to, to see you uh, in person sometime soon. So uh, you expect to talk about artificial intelligence in this talk. It will be quick because we only have five minutes. So first, what is AI? Is machine learning AI? Is this cubic uh, polynomial regression AI? Some might say that this linear regression is AI, or maybe is PowerPoint AI. <clears throat> Well, um, let's go to search engines because, yeah, this is what we do. All search engines work in a similar way. Uh, they perform three basic tasks. They examine the content they have permission to see. That's the crawling. They examine each piece um, uh, of, of content. That's indexing. And they decide which content is more useful to the searchers. That's ranking. Um, well. When it comes to ranking, this is where we plug the all the AI stuff there. And yeah, everybody says that this ranking is our secret sauce. It's top secret. Uh, you have a lot of buzzwords there. You have AI powered search. You have a neural search. You have machine learning, deep learning, data science. Well, something that Trey, Granger's, uh, Trey Granger used to call buzzword salad. OK, no offense, buzzwords, but yeah, <laughs> this is what it is. Um, let's take this from another perspective, uh, from the per perspective of a business user, of a search engine administrator. <clears throat> we actually helped, we built and we helped building a lot of e-commerce uh, uh, search, uh, search engines. And um, <clears throat> we came to a conclusion. Uh, when it comes to relevance, uh, you have, if you have the option between a fine relevance tuning and automatic, automated relevance tuning, well, when you talk about e-commerce data, which is uh, highly structured. You have a lot of tools at your disposal. You have Boost, you have function scores, you have synonyms, you have redirections, you have query writing, you can work on user experience, you can plug business rules or business needs in there. <clears throat> How about learning to rank? Uh, so yeah, AI, machine learning. You have the ranking model, you have the learning algorithm, and you have the training data. But Actually, our conclusion is that this is very expensive to implement properly. You have you need a lot of maintenance there, and you have a lot of technical depth. And if your model is not properly trained, that's worth. Um, and last but not least, uh, you have a black box there, and you cannot explain easily explain to the business why do you have this result, why this first and this 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 one second. Um, yes. Um, so yeah, what, what do, do others do? So you certainly have heard about BORT, which is Google's new AI algorithm that, uh, that, that powers Google. Uh, well, actually, BORT helps only 10, 1 in 10 searches. 9 out of 10 searches do not use BORT, do not need BORT, do not need AI. Um, of course, 10%, it's a lot, but yeah. It, you have to have the time and the money to optimize this 10% there. It's only 10%. You also have a, in the e-commerce space, Algolia that released a new AI platform. When you look into it, actually, besides NLP and NLU, which I do not discuss here, we will see later, uh, it resumes to dynamic synonyms, personalization, and bring your own AI. Okay, so plug your own model and hope for the best. It's actually Amazon that understood this better. Uh, they created this mechanical Turk, which is a, an automaton, uh, which is a human-powered robot, actually. Um, yes, so don't get us wrong. Uh, we do use AI, and we do think AI is useful. But we mostly use it in these parts, crawling and indexing. So you can use it for, it's, it fits for automatic document classification, from document clustering, for dynamic synonym suggestion, for data cleaning, because if you have garbage in, you have garbage out. So yeah, everything which is uh, noise in the data, like, like OCR, for example, uh, uh, machine learning is, fits well to, to clean that. <clears throat> 
of course, everything that's around NLP, NLU, a natural language like uh, voice search, chatbots, question answering, yeah, AI fits best. And also, to some extent, uh, in ranking, when you deal with highly unstructured data. Um, now, if we see how the current models work, um, so uh, this one is from Google. Uh, it's powered by advertising a lot, by SEO money to some extent, a lot also. Uh, you have some AI there in the questions part. Uh, so uh, you, you cannot see it well, but if, if you go to this URL, you, you will see that. Uh, it's also powered by compliance. That means that uh, if you comply to the rules in, in, imposed by by Google, then uh, you will get to the first page. And it has a lot of personalization. Probably if you go to this page, you will have some different display than, than I, I have. And in e-commerce, this one is for Amaz from Amazon. You kind of have the same thing. You have advertising to some extent. You have partnerships that appear on the first, first page and are boosted. You have compliance, though, that those that comply with the rules of the marketplace and they have they are well noted and all that you have also personalization now if we go to something new that's beyond artificial intelligence we kind of uh, observed that social networks have a quite interesting model so of course you have to some some kind of AI there because in your Twitter feed in your YouTube feed you have some data that's displayed there for a reason. So yeah, you have maybe some machine learning, you have some advertising of course, uh, but especially you have content that's there because people you follow um, find 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 that interesting. Uh, you also have some content that comes from people around you. But mainly, uh, your relevance model is influenced by the people you follow. And this brings us to what we have tried to implement in our collaborative uh, search engine that you can find at all.site, um, which is a kind of brings all this together. So yeah, all, all have, that you have seen. Um, you get results that you get just as you, have, uh, you get in Google. Uh, they are pi powered by the community so actually uh, the people you follow are the search engine administrators and just like you see them in your twitter feed you will see them in your search results so it's some kind of a mechanical turk if i may say powered by the people you follow and by domain experts and uh, yeah by by people that you trust so this is it. I hope I wasn't too long because we were kind of late. And uh, I tried to, to be as brief as possible. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you, Bernie Buzzwords, for having us and for, again, bringing the community together.